Hey guys, this is Camry15, and I'm back at it with another video for you guys. And this is another Chicago Bears news slash theory update. And, you know, I've heard a lot of things going on. You know, the fact that the Bears might win the Saints. Yes. Am I a little bit more, I guess you can say, of the belief that they have a chance? Yeah, but still, I still still think they're going to lose, and I still think they're going to get exposed and lose yet again on national TV, again, like they typically do. But the one thing in the news today is it's only rumors, so do not put or do not, you know, take this with a grain of salt or this is now 100% confirmed because this is a rumor, but like every other Bears YouTuber has probably put on YouTube. Um, the thing is this, and I think I'm, this video is going to go up tomorrow um, or on Friday, actually. Um, I was thinking about doing it Thursday night because I'm recording it Thursday night, but I think I'm going to upload it to the channel on Friday. So the rumor going around the NFL rumor mill is the fact that Deshaun Watson apparently – is going to ask out of a trade for, for Houston. And teams will have a chance to eventually trade for him. Now, obviously, if these rumors are true and he goes through with this, that is a big deal because you have a quarterback in his prime asking out of a situation, which honestly, I don't blame him for getting out of there. Um, it's good he actually got an extension for what it's worth. So now guess what? He doesn't have to re-sign with a new team because whoever brings him in, he's already got his new deal and he can just get to playing with them. But I would not figure, figure that because guess what? It's only a matter of time. And plus two, it's, listen, I personally, it was me, I'd get out of Houston because you're just going to waste your career in Houston trying for Houston to try to refix and rebuild everything that they once had. They had the talent to, I would say, make the playoffs on a yearly basis and compete. But after Bill O'Brien went up in there and messed everything up, those guys, the Houston Texans are going to be a, I guess you can say, have a massive drop-off. I would not be shocked as well if Jason or J.J. Watt asked for a trade out of there. Because he looks like he's sick and tired of being up in Houston. But anyways, anyways. Apparently, like I said, the rumor is Deshaun Watson wants out. And we all know. Now, how does this tie to the damn Bears? We all remember three years ago. I've said it numerous times on my channel. In the year 2017. Well, now it's going on four years, actually. In the year, um, in the year 2017, we had a chance to draft Deshaun Watson. That was the guy that was supposed to be taken with the second overall pick by the Chicago Bears, the guy the Bears traded up to pick for. And we took the wrong guy because Ryan Pace just had to go rogue. Now, you're telling me if this evidence comes out to be true, the Bears can actually, dare I say, rectify the wrongs of the 2017 NFL draft. The crazy thing is, I, I, I said earlier, I've always said when Deshaun Watson, if he didn't sign that contract extension he did, if when he hit the free agent market, I would have hoped the Bears would try to bring him on the squad and pay him all he wants. Now, it seems like things might have got better and played in the favor for the Bears. If the evidence if these rumors appear to be true because the bears can literally rectify the wrongs this move if they can pull this trade off if this again is all true they might as well have saved their franchise for the next decade and maybe more than that because deshaun watson is a legit top 10 nfl caliber quarterback You'll rectify the wrong of doing everything. And this is what I, and, and guess what? If the, the, the Bears somehow keep freaking Ryan Pace fine, if this points out to be true, listen, the moment the Bears go to the offseason, they need to be on their phones calling the Houston Texans, 
right now, right then and there, the moment they get out of the offseason. There ain't no diddle dialing. There ain't no, you know, close up post game press conference. The moment if it's loss, if you lose to the Saints, you lose. I don't care. You lose to them, pick up the phone, call the Houston Texans and tell them, are these rumors true? Are you going to be thinking about trading Deshaun Watson? Does Deshaun Watson want out of your freaking organization? Because if that's the case, yeah, the Bears need to get on that right now. Or when the time comes. Because, listen. If Ryan Pace is still in the organization, which I still believe his job is going to be safe, which is stupid. But if he pulls this off, if the rumor is true, if he pulls a trade off to get the Bears to get Deshaun Watson and come to Chicago, he might have just not only saved his job, he might have saved his entire career in Chicago. The city of Chicago would be rejoicing. I would take everything back I ever said wrong about Ryan Pace if he were to pull this off. Thing would be, you know... Well, it's three years too late, and yes, you traded to get him when instead you could have had him free of charge. Now, obviously, the Bears, in order to do this, are going to have to give us some of the stuff. I was thinking about it, and I'm like, the only untouchables could be Roquan Smith, Jalen Johnson, Cole Komet, Darnell Mooney. But when I really thought about it, I'm like, no. You can't shortball these teams when you got a legit quarterback on the line that can change your franchise it don't matter so whatever the texans are asking for listen the bears have to give it to them the bears have to give it to them so if they want khalil mack give them khalil mack they want three first round picks give it to them yeah but you can say through what but we just got our first round picks back now we can finally get a first round pick i don't care i don't care if you have a chance to go out there and the Texans like, do this, this, and that, and we'll give you Deshaun Watson. You do it. Literally, like Thanos says, you know, what did you do? I like how in Avengers Infinity War, what did you do, you know, all for this? Or what did you give up for everything? Or what did you, my bad. What did you give up? Everything. I don't care. Give it up. Give it all up. So if they want a bunch, if they want some of these players, do it. Because you want to know why? They're trust. You, you want to know why? In the modern day NFL, to trade for a legit quarterback in his prime like that, you have to pull the trigger. I don't care if you lose even some of your best players on your team. You can get some of those type of players back. Oh, yeah. An edge rusher. Yeah, it might be a while, but guess what? You can find an edge rusher in the draft. A pretty decent to good one in the draft. Maybe not up to the levels of a Khalil Mack, but a solid one. You can find you a pretty good damn receiver that can turn out and you develop him rightly. He can be a good receiver. You can find those types of stuff. You can find other positions. The quarterback position is the one thing that is the hardest to find. Because you don't know what you're going to get out of a quarterback unless it's a top-tier quarterback coming out of college, like a Trevor Lawrence, for example. That you don't pass up. The Bears can literally rectify the wrong of 2017's NFL draft by somehow bringing him in here by trading, and it doesn't matter. Give up anything. If the Texans want somebody big, yeah, is it going to suck if they say, Give us a few first-round picks and Roquan Smith. Is that going to hurt because you're giving up legit a Pro Bowl caliber player in Roquan Smith? Yes, that would hurt. But if it's to get Deshaun Watson, guess what? I can take my chances in the draft and find me another solid linebacker to do something to not maybe play up to the standards of a Roquan Smith, but, you know, give you some production that – who knows? If developed right, he can be a good linebacker. You know? And then just imagine Deshaun Watson on this team. Just imagine, just say you're able to not to trade an offensive piece. So you got David Montgomery in your backfield. 
The old line is playing solid. You still need to improve the old line. You still you got James Daniels coming back off injury. And you saw that Sam Mustafer is a pretty good damn center. <clears throat> you can put Cody White here in the other guard position. Maybe you put Alex Bars as one of the tackles. And then you'd get somebody in the tackle who eventually replaces either Bobby Nassie, Bobby Massey or Charles Leno Jr. Honestly, I'd do that. Roll out that that line. And it seemed like it would be a pretty good damn line. You know, skill position-wise. Again, like I said, David Montgomery. You know, you can bring back Allen Robinson on a franchise tag. I know he, Allen Robinson wouldn't like it, but if you trade for Deshaun Watson, Allen Robinson's going to be like, you know what, I'm going to play with this franchise tag. Because I actually got a quarterback to work with. Darnell Mooney. A quarterback will act... Darnell Mooney will actually have a legit quarterback. Cole Komet. Just think of that offense. And the head of the center of that offensive snake is Deshaun Watson. Doesn't that sound good? The defense. Now, you can say if you trade away some of your best defensive players, but our defense will go back to sneaking. The D, have you not watched the defense? The defense has been getting shellacked. They've been getting carved up. Like Swiss cheese. So honestly, you can honestly rebuild the defense back up. You can rebuild it piece by piece. You know? And plus, the defense is aging anyways. The defense is aging anyways. So eventually, time would have come where eventually you would have to freaking refix the defense again. So guess what? Would I do that in a heartbeat? And it's like this to Bear fan and for Bear fans saying, you know, you want to give up that much? You're lying. You'd give the entire house up to get you a franchise quarterback that could change your organization. That's the one thing you can always say in an organization. Well, yeah, everything's not bright around the edges, but the one thing we do have is this. We have that franchise quarterback guy. And even by some tweets that Sean Watson's been liking and been saying, it seems like he likes Chicago, and it seems like he would like to go play for Chicago. Obviously, the Texans are going to, if they trade, try to trade him, are going to trade him to the best, you know, team that gives the best offer for them. So the Bears, if they want to do it, they better give a really good damn freaking thing. And if that means giving up all their draft capital to do it and some give, include some players in there, do it. Honestly, at this point, for Deshaun Watson, any player – Oh, no, not any player. Every player on the roster would be on, is on the trading block, if that's the case. I'd give my entire – I'd give away my entire freaking draft capital for Deshaun Watson. I'd give up any player on this roster for Deshaun Watson. Because you want to know why? You can't get a player like that. You can't get a player like that where you just can just be like, eh, they're asking for too much. We're not going to do it. No. If that happens, then that's an indictment on the Bears organization. No, if this is all true, the Bears need to go in 110%. Whatever the Houston Texans are asking for, give it to them. Give it to them. I don't care if they have to mortgage their entire future to get Deshaun Watson. Because guess what? You should have had him to begin with back in 2017. And guess what? If you did that, you never would be in the same position you're in right now. You'd probably be a much better team. You'd, instead of being freaking third place in the NFC North, you'd probably be second place in the NFC North, and you'd actually be getting into back-and-forth matches, good matches, with the Packers. Because guess what? That Packers defense would respect Deshaun Watson more than they would respect Mitchell Trubisky. Deshaun Watson will actually throw a ball over 10 yards, maybe more, in a game than Mitchell Trubisky. And if that happens, you can let Mitchell Trubisky walk and be like, we got our guy. That's all I wanted to come and speak on about these rumors. Hopefully these rumors are true. And hopefully this Bears organization puts 110% into getting him. Because if I see on my news, if this news is true, and I see one day Deshaun Watson is being traded to Chicago Bears for whatever they in return the Houston Texans are going to get, I swear, I'm buying me a Deshaun Watson jersey right now. And again, and, and listen, the, the, like I said, the only problem is this in this whole thing. If Bill O'Brien was still in power there, we might have actually been able to, uh, let's just say, 
do the same thing like the Arizona Cardinals did with DeAndre Hopkins, be able to get him for essentially a bag of popcorn. But now the Texas organization is going to be smarter now that Bill O'Brien's out of office. So they're definitely going to be asking for a lot of stuff. Obviously, you're also going to have to freaking clear some, clear some cap space to freaking pull this off. So that means you might have to trade a player away that might be on a big contract to make things work out. So that means you might have to lose an Eddie Jackson. You know, you might have to lose if they wanted a Cleo Mack. But if, say, the, the Bears are able to not lose much, they maybe give up a player, but not lose much in terms of how the team is currently constructed. And they bring on Deshaun Watson. Sign me up and I'll say we're an automatic Super Bowl contender. Yeah, I said it. If we get Deshaun Watson, we're an automatic Super Bowl contender. And yeah, that's even with the bad play calling Matt Nagy does. Because guess what? Deshaun Watson will play the bad play calls Matt Nagy has. And trust me, a hell of a lot more. Yeah, Deshaun Watson throws interceptions from time to time, but guess what? I trust Deshaun Watson much more than I trust a Mitchell Trubisky, much more than I trust a Nick Foles. He's mobile, he's in his prime, and he's a franchise quarterback. That's all I got to say. That's my thoughts on the, this Deshaun Watson rumor and the fact that the Bears might actually have a chance to rectify the wrongs of 2017. And I guarantee you, if this happens, Bears Nation will go crazy. Literally, I will throw a legit party and I will legit be calling us Super Bowl contenders. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what the Dan Packer fans say. I don't care what anybody says. We'll be Super Bowl contenders. I still don't care. We had Deshaun Watson in the year 2018 with that Super Bowl, with that NFL defense led by Vic Fangio. We go to the Super Bowl, folks, which also pisses me off that we should have got him a long time ago. Anyways, guys, that's it. If you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on the news. Do you think this news will true? And what would you give up to get Deshaun Watson to put him on the Chicago Bears? Hit that subscribe button if you want more Chicago Bears content. I'll see you guys Sunday night for, you know, the game recap against the Saints. Hopefully, in terms of the Bears' case, they win the game. But guess what? They win that game. They have to play the Packers next week in Lambeau. Don't like my chances there. But who knows? Maybe it's like they say, third time's the charm. You can try to upset Green Bay in Green Bay. I don't see it happening, but okay. Whatever. But that's just my thoughts on the John Watson news. I want to get my thoughts out for that. and. Hopefully it's all true, because if it's all true, I'm going to be crossing my fingers. The Bears pull it off, because if they pull this off, this will be an organizational type of thing that can change the Bears going on to the future. That's all I got to say. I'm the guy for hopefully you guys have a great rest of your night. Hopefully you guys are staying safe, especially after the events of what happened in our Capitol's building. A bunch of crazy people are acting like crazy fools. No, I'm not going to tolerate no dictatorship in this country. You want that? You got countries to go to. I ain't going to specify who, but you got your places to go if you want that type of leadership. So get over it. Deal with it. He lost. Move on. Let's get on with the rest of our lives and let's continue. I'm the guy ever. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.